Dre. And you're watching Tiff, Tiff and Dre, Dre TV. TV. So on this episode of Tiff and Dre TV, we're going to talk about the 10 things we wish we knew before we went cruising. So we decided there were some things that we learned after cruising that we should have known or found out or did some research to, to actually make our cruise a little bit better. And uh, after cruising for a couple of, we did about three cruises last year or two years ago and uh, decided, you know, this would be a great topic to talk about uh, with the audience and others who may be cruising in the future. That's right. So if this is your first time cruising, you found the video that's going to help you not make the mistakes that we did. Right and make your cruising more enjoyable. All right, so let's get into the video. Yes. Number one, you know, we usually buy the drink package, all right? Mm -hmm. And one thing I didn't know is that gratuities are included in the drink package, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you go to the bar and you get your drink mm -hmm. and uh, they ask you for your ID, mm -hmm. depends on the cruise, we're talking about Royal Caribbean. They ask you for your ID and they're, they're gonna make sure, do you have the drink package? And then you have your drink and then sometimes you'll see a receipt come your way. Mm -hmm. And you look at the receipt because they want you to sign it and then you see on there tips, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is where it gets out of hand. If you didn't know that the gratuities, 10 or 15%, depending on your sailing, were included in drink package, you're probably gonna pencil in a dollar here, two dollars there, right? But you've already paid your gratuities if you bought the drink package. Uh, that included, let's say, beer, wine, alcohol, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying don't tip for great service above and beyond normal gratuities. You know, if you feel the need to tip, add a dollar or two on there. But you got a seven-day cruise. This thing can get out of control, Yeah. right? Before you know it, the savings that you put out for the drink package... You just gave it away in gratuities. So watch your gratuities at the bar. Mm -hmm. Don't feel bad if you just sign the receipt and hand it back without putting a dollar in there mm -hmm. for just a regular drink. Uh, we encourage you, if there's good service, go right ahead yeah. and add whatever you choose to add or don't add anything at all. But remember... Gratuities are included on the drink package. Now, number two, stay hydrated while you're, mm. on, while you're cruising. You're drinking, you're on water, you feel the breeze, the air as you're walking on deck. A lot of times I would forget to drink water. So there were times I would get headaches and wouldn't understand why am I getting a headache? And I had even had a alcoholic drink it's because I didn't stay hydrated. I didn't drink water as I was going through my days. Um, so to me, that was very important. Oh, I agree completely. Um, have, have, a, have a bottle of water near yep. you. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you, uh, the, the bottles that they give you on Royal Caribbean. If you have a drink package, <clears throat> they'll give you a uh, one of those tumblers. That's right. For and drinking. If, a lot know. of times it's good mm -hmm. to, to put some ice water in it and walk mm -hmm. around with it. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't forget... If you get the drink package, go up to a bar, ask for a bottle of water. Absolutely. It's included. It's included. Get yourself some Perrier. Mm -hmm. Get yourself some of that. What is that other uh, sparkling the water. water that we like? Uh, Perigrigio. <laughs> that's, that's fine and all. I just, I think water, good old fashioned water is, yep. is real good. But remember, bottled water is included on drink package. And mm -hmm. if you don't have the drink package, you're looking at $3 or more. For that bottle for of water. a bottle of water mm. um, yeah that okay. brings us to number three mm. don't overpack consolidate your luggage mm -hmm. when we first cruise we had everything a carry-on we had a check bag yes we had a personal bag yes we did all right that adds up yes right it did so you know, depending on your airline, if you have to fly into your port, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking at $25, $30 for a check bag, right? right? That's right. Um, so 
our last cruise, what we did was we consolidated on our check bag. Mm -hmm. We still had our carry-on. Yes, we did. Right? Mm -hmm. And you want your carry-ons uh, because your luggage could get lost, mm -hmm. right? So right. when you pack your carry-on, and we're going to do a video on that someday, talking about the, how to pack for a cruise. Yes, we learned but, that. But uh, to briefly talk about it, you want to pack that carry-on in such a way, if you were to lose your check bag... You still have something to wear. You still have something to wear, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's there for that reason. That's and right. then you have your personal bag where you can put your, your tech gear, like your cameras mm -hmm. and your chargers and mm -hmm. things like that. So... Number three is don't overpack, consolidate, mm. and save some money so you can go on another cruise. Which takes us to number four. Make space in your luggage for souvenirs. Mm. If you overpack with all this clothing and different items that you bought from home to make this cruise better, and then you want to bring a souvenir back, like right. a huge basket, mm -hmm. this glass bowl with all the goodies, that you found or the on... wooden giraffe that's six feet tall. That's right. <laughs> How do you get that in your luggage? Well, if you didn't make space, it's going to be quite difficult. And then you have to find some other way of getting that back home. Right. So I would suggest make give yourself some space enough to bring some trinkets home. Yeah. You know, even if it's just a a, a small corner of your luggage, mm -hmm. uh, just make space in that for just souvenirs. Yep, and here's a power tip. In the rooms, your bed frame is elevated. Store your luggage under your bed. There's enough room for you to slide your luggage. I mean, we didn't know that. That's true. We had our luggage sitting out. Yeah. We're walking around it. Yes. And one day, I think I dropped something on the floor. And, and I looked that space. And I looked underneath the bed. And I was like, oh my God, look at all this space. So. That space is there for you to store that luggage, store it underneath the bed. That's right. uh, if you get a suite, you might have enough room in your closet. Yes. But there you go. You're consolidating, you're saving room. That's right. And you're using your space wisely. Okay, number five, all you can eat. Okay? So, a normal cruise ticket includes main dining room dining. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. You have the option to purchase specialty dining. Mm -hmm. You can purchase seven nights, three nights, two mm -hmm. nights, or even one night. We love specialty dining, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But in all cases, you're going to sit down, they're going to give you a menu, and you're going to see appetizers, main course, and desserts. And you're going to think, oh my God, okay, no prices. Mm -hmm. I get the pick. All right, I want this, I want this, and I'm going to try this. But Few waiters will tell you, we'll bring you back whatever you want. You want to try two appetizers? Try two appetizers. You want to try two main courses? Try two main courses. You, you don't wanna, like it? If you want to try the whole... You want to try the whole menu? Yes, the whole... I'm basic, sure some basically, people... Yep. Basically, all the desserts that That's they right. offer, they, right. they can bring to your table. That's right. So, and if you don't like it, you can send it back, mm -hmm. right? You can taste it. We don't like wasting food either <laughs> but there are some things that we wanted to taste we weren't sure you know like escargot mm -hmm. right i had it years ago i forgot what it tastes like mm -hmm. but i'm like okay i'm gonna get the escargot tiff you want to taste some right mm -hmm. so it's all you can eat don't be afraid but that's not ask. at every restaurant oh it is it is oh there are some restaurants that, that do uh cost no no there is so a, a cost to it you're right that is an upcharge That's right. for the item, right? That's right. And if you want more lobster tail, you're going to pay for more lobster tail, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But in general, especially restaurants and main dining room, mm -hmm. you can have as many main courses, you can have as many appetizers, Absolutely. and you can have as many desserts as you want. Mm. You're on vacation. That's right. Enjoy yourself. But because you're on vacation, number six you don't have to eat everything. <laughs> I ate everything. I was not well for for a couple of days because I wanted to try everything mm -hmm. and was too full. And when you're full like that, it's difficult to digest, especially at night mm. trying to sleep. So I would say pace yourself. Mm. You know, if you don't want, if you went and had a, a late dinner or got down late uh, that evening, the next morning, kind of pace yourself and take it easy for the, the next breakfast. But 
pace yourself on, on the meals that you're eating. You can get so full that you're sick. Mm. So just take it easy. You don't have to try everything because mm. there is so much to choose from. Um, your eyes may want everything, but your stomach may not handle everything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there's so much food on that ship. Mm -hmm. After a while, you're like, okay, breakfast, lunch, right. dinner. Oh, we're not even talking snacks. snacks breakfast, late night snacks, snack, lunch, snack, snack yeah. dinner, snack. Oh, yeah. Evening, you're on vacation cocktails. and you're like losing your mind. Right. Eating. Right. Everything. And you go home sick. You're walking. You I want go ice cream. Home, not feel good. Pizza. I want pizza one o'clock in the morning. Right. It's cruise time. Yes. And you can and have that's it. And that's not, that's maybe not something that no. you're, um, you got to get it under control. You know, conditioned to do. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And speaking about eating and getting it under control, number seven is mm. get in shape. Get in shape before you cruise. Before I'm going to tell cruise. you. Yeah. You are going to do a lot of walking. Yes, you are. You're going to walk. And if you're on a big mega ship like the world's largest ship the oasis class ship yes tell you're going to be walking that's right like football field walking right and when you get off the ship and get onto the pier mm -hmm. you know like costa maya pier right the walking is amazing how much walking now there are some carts out there if you have you know uh an injury or you need to, you need a little assistance to get to the end of the pier right there there are carts for that right right, right. but for most people they're going to walk off the ship and they're going to keep walking so get yourself some comfortable shoes mm -hmm. get yourself in shape right get hydrated because you're going to do some walking that's right and you're going to burn a lot of calories while you're on the ship this is why you eat so you're going to want to eat a lot because you're burning calories from all the walking, right? Okay, and number eight, this is what I found out, how I am on on sea. Mm. I do have seasickness, mm. and seasickness is real. Yeah, yeah. I try different things to combat this seasickness, and my very first cruise, the second and fourth days was the hardest for me. Mm. The the captain would come on quite often, the intercom, and would announce that we're going through choppy waters. Mm. Well, I knew that before he said. Yeah, motion Because in the ocean. I was moving, body was standing still, head was moving, everything underneath my feet was moving, and I didn't feel well. Mm. And it is a real sick feeling right so with that you want to bring some items to help you mitigate that seasickness mm -hmm. like sea bands sea bands uh, uh they have patches, the patches behind. Mm -hmm. behind the ears there's some other devices that i'll talk uh a little later on about what you can purchase to help you while you're uh, at sea that's right so stay tuned for that because tip's going to do a special video for uh seasickness sea sickness. Mm -hmm. so that'd be good to see mm -hmm. all right Nine. Number nine, the motion. Like she was telling you, like Tiff was saying, mm -hmm. there's a lot of motion. And mm -hmm. it's real. Even the larger ship. Of course, the larger the ship is, the less motion you're supposed to feel. But if you're brand new to cruising, you're going to feel some motion. So That's just true. get ready for it. Mm -hmm. When you work with your travel agent, working with your travel agent and selecting your cabin, we have found that the cabins that are... Can I use your pen? That are located, yeah, located closer to the center of the ship and on the lower decks mm. tend to not feel the motion as much. When we were up on the higher decks, let's say you're on an a Oasis-class ship, which is a very large ship. Over 5,000 people can get on an Oasis-class ship. Yes, right. And you're on deck 14 or 15, we've noticed that you really feel it. The higher you up, you're going to feel that swing. Yes, you do. Either left or right mm -hmm. or front or back. You're going to feel that swing. And then as you come down mm -hmm. to the lower decks, like deck five, deck six. Right. As you can see here, less motion. That's right. Doesn't get rid of it completely. Right. But less motion. So if motion sickness or motion in the ocean is a concern for you, try to get on a lower deck number as far as as far as your cabin as far as your cabin okay and try to locate yourself towards the center mm. of the ship okay and that should help you out um, a little bit a little bit yeah um, there you go 
And for the last one, number 10, don't forget to rest. Mm. From sun up to sundown for seven days, we wanted to have fun. We may have slept three or four hours a night. By the time the fifth night came, I was exhausted. I didn't want to do anything else. But I knew I paid for this cruise and I wanted to have some fun. That's right. So I'm pushing now. That's right. Take a little time for yourself mm -hmm. on the daily. 10 minute nap, downtime away from everything just to kind of recoup yourselves. Maybe you want to stay out late that particular night. That's right. Give yourself a little downtime, a little rest, so you can have fun for the rest of your trip. Mm, that's a great advice, Tiff. Thank you. Hey, no problem. So <laughs> we're planning on our next cruise, yes. which is this December. Mm. And if everything goes well. Which and, it will. And which we, it will. We keep in hope alive. We'll be cruising out of Miami on December 5th yes. on the... Um, Harmony or the Oasis? It's an Oasis class ship. It's an Oasis. It's Symphony Oasis. of the Seas? No, no, it's not. It's, it's either. Not I think it's Harmony. It's Oasis, Oasis of the Seas. It's Oasis, Oasis of the Seas. Oasis, Oasis of the Seas. Of the seas. Thank right. you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> we must remember these things. We, it's written we down. we got to get on the right trip. It is. So <laughs> we're going to be on a one-week um, uh Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean cruise That's right. on Oasis of the Seas. And we are really looking forward to that. Excited. So all of this advice we're giving you, it, we're going to be taking that to heart. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, my number one is get in shape. Yes. Because it's no fun when you're out of breath and mm -hmm. you are just tired all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. And you can't go to the club. Nope. You can't stay up late. That's right. You know, because you're just tired and you just out of energy. So basically, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Hydrate, mm -hmm. get rest, mm -hmm. get in shape, mm -hmm. do and a lot of walking. That's what right. What else? I think those are those are great 10 tips that, tips that we wish we knew before we went on our first, first cruise. cruise. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's a wrap on that video. Yes. That's right. And if this is your first time to our channel, thank you for watching our video. Thank you for supporting our channel. We yes. are growing. And very grateful. 224 subscribers. There you go. And so you are in the, at the ground floor with us growing this channel. And by uh, subscribing and liking our videos, you are supporting our channel. That's and right. we greatly appreciate that. So? Until next time, live well and, and prosper. prosper. Bye. Take care. See you on the open seat. Are you listening? <laughs>